Yes, I got it. Um, you just have to say you got it for this. There we go. Uh, once again, I'm Nathaniel Welch. This meeting is called to order at 7.06 p.m. Um, all of our votes will be taken by roll call vote. If you are on Zoom, uh, please ensure that your Zoom name accurately identifies you on the screen using the rename feature. Please mute your microphone to, eliminate, uh, to limit background noise and unmute it when you're called upon. Please use the raise your hand feature and the, cha and the chair may will call on you. When, uh, when called on, please identify yourself with name and address and uh, for the record, and um, please limit your remarks to under a couple of minutes. The event of any technical difficulties where Zoom becomes unavailable, um, we cannot recover within five minutes, this meeting will be ended and all matters on the agenda that have not been heard will be automatically continued to the next Bruce Freeman Rail Trail Advisory Committee meeting. Um, as always, you may send mail to our committee uh, at bfrtac at concordna.gov. Uh, the minutes for tonight's meeting um, are, will be taken by committee member Adrian Boardman. Adrian, thank you uh, for doing that. And at this time, I will ask committee members to indicate they are present for our roll call when I call their name. Mary Beth Barker. Uh, she wrote that she couldn't read it. Got it. Adrian Boardman. President. Uh, Richard Follender. Please unmute. Present. Thank you. Uh, Tracy Hansen. Present. Dorcas Miller. Present. Thank you. Uh, John Soden. I do not see. Uh, Sam Stearns. Present. And Nat Welch is present. One, two, three, four, five, six. For six members uh, of the nine, we have a quorum. Uh, first agenda item is to approve the minutes from the uh, uh, December 1st meeting. Uh, those minutes were sent out to each member. Um, does anybody have any corrections or additions to the meeting minutes for 12 December or for, for December 1st? If not, may I have a motion to motion to approve? A second. Second. Thank you. Um, roll call vote to approve the minutes of December 1st. Um, Ms. Boardman? Aye. Mr. Follender? Aye. Ms. Henson? Aye. Ms. Miller? Aye. Mr. Stearns? Aye. And Mr. Welch votes aye. The minutes are uh, approved unanimously uh, by a quorum of the committee. Uh, next on the agenda uh, is a town update memo uh, to us from Marcia Rasmussen. I'd like to invite Marcia to um, provide her monthly update, uh, which members received a copy of uh, today. Marcia, thank you. Um, we heard from Carlene Hempel, who is a member of the Friends of the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail, and um, she is the person who led the, the forum last fall regarding um, uniform signage. So she followed up this month to reconnect with all who participated in the fall coordination meeting to determine status of each con community's conversation with town leaders. Um, regarding that signage and has requested follow-up. Um, so I've suggested that the BFRTAC co-chairs provide that information to Darlene, um, who's going to compile responses, provide a status report on each community, excuse me, and send a follow-up invitation for a spring meeting discussion. Uh, Marcia, may I just quickly respond that I sent an email to Darlene uh, yesterday with um, both the recommendation that the committee sent to the select board and the fact that they voted on it on, I can't remember the date, but I told them the date uh, that it was voted on. Um, so that item is taken care of. So one you know. Very good. 2B, the completion date expected to be extended to May, May 31st of 2023 to allow us installation of the cedar fence, landscaping, and top course of asphalt on the Acton portion of the trail. Um, the Mass DOT resident engineer, Michael Winnick, has uh, distributed the 2022 Wildlife Culvert Monitoring Report. Um, this has been added to this committee's webpage for those who would like to read it and submitted to uh, both the state and um, to Delia Kay, our Natural Resources Director. 
regarding phase 2C updates information about the proposed short term improvements to Junction Park is being sent to the MBTA staff this week to determine whether a formal submitted middle is required uh, relative to um, the pavement markings and planters with screens near the commuter rail platform. Um, I'm hearing. Like up everyone, can everyone hear us? No, I'm, I'm hearing background noise. So oh, okay. um, I've muted everyone. Um, and then um, I'm waiting. Um, as I, uh, that, I will be submitting that information. And then an inquiry from on butter regarding replacement of evergreen trees that were planted during the initial construction but failed survive, to survive between Powder Mill Road um, and uh, Williams Road was submitted. And I'm working with Nat Welch to, um, and we'll be reaching out to Public Works and DPLM staff to determine best action going forward. And then uh, great news on the uh, Phase 2C and Phase 2D in Sudbury. Um, the planning director, uh, Adam Ducheneau, I, or Duchesne in um, Sudbury has um, a website that he's updating periodically. So there's information about how to sign up for those that notification, uh, just alerting us that they started construction on January 23rd. And uh, the Sudbury resident, Len Simon, who has provided information in the past, uh, has provided some pictures, and and uh, which was great to see uh, that it has begun uh, 10 years of that advocacy at the state level and at the municipal committees, forums, and town meetings, um, and has finally produced a tangible result. Construction has begun. And um, just today, I was uh, uh, sent the, uh, oh, what is it, their uh, construction baseline schedule. So I will be posting that on your website. And that is my update. Thank you very much. Uh, members, um... Do you, uh, Richard, follow me. You have a question. Yeah, hi, um, Marcia. I, way back, I mean, a couple of years ago, maybe I, I raised the question of whether the Public Works has a line item in the budget for the rail trail specifically, and I don't think we found out that they did. Either way, um, is that something to think about? Um, because there will be ongoing issues, obviously, uh, whether it's tree replacement or you know, buckling pavement from roots or or whatever. Does it make sense that there would be a line item in the public works budget specifically for the rail trail? Not necessarily, um, but I think it's something to be aware of and, and to ask that question. I, I don't, I I know that the prior, prior town managers have um, had said that there would be something in their, in the public works budget. I'm not responsible for public works budget. Uh, it's something that you should look for when it, that bu budget is published or to ask those questions during the um, the town meeting process as they're, they're going forward. Mm -hmm. well, is it, I'm speaking to the other committee members. I mean, is that something, I guess we could discuss whether that's something we would wanna propose or talk to the public works as a rail trail committee at some point. Um, you know, the, obviously the town budget's right now being prepared. Other member comments, questions on, on Richard's point? Yeah, Richard, I think certainly either like exploring that if it could be a steady state budget item or seeing Marsha, I know that um, annually, I think we um, have traditionally submitted CPC requests for some like very specific projects, but maybe there's also a like buffer that we could put in there for, you know, anticipated maintenance and we could work within that. So I don't know how we figure out what the right avenue is, but I agree, Richard, I think we should have a mechanism for for trying to tackle these things when they come up? I mean, maintenance is part of the responsibility of public works mm -hmm. and, and they do uh, travel the route regularly. They are um, up, you know, uh, repairing fencing along the way. The issue of landscaping and plantings um, is something that uh, has been more in the, in the realm of the planning office and, the, and CPA funding. So it's it's balancing those two items. I do know that Public Works does have um, a tree planting budget, and I don't know. Uh, and I know that there are they're always looking for more. Um, the community is always looking for more. So that is a conversation that this committee could probably take to the Public Works Commission if if uh, someone wanted to be a liaison to that the uh, Public Works. So so Richard one. Point might be would would you be interested in maybe 
tackling that issue and updating us? Like, is there a budget? How would it be created? Sure, I'll, I'll follow up with Alan Cathcart or whoever's appropriate. Right. Aaron McCosco is the highway and ground superintendent. He would be right. the best person to start with. He's on vacation right now, but um, he will be back soon. Okay, thank you. And then, and then give us an update when you figure it out and we can decide yep. if there's something we need to do. Thanks, Richard. That's a, that's a great question. Any other member questions on Marsha's um, memo? I have a question, Marsha. Why can't they start from the north? I know, I know. It's not your, it's not your call. <laughs> But anyway, I, uh, you've asked that before, and okay. it is the it is up to the contractor to determine their approach to construction. No, so. I, got it, I, got it, I got it. I I will say and share with the committee that um, John Drobinski, who is the chair of the Sudbury, uh, the equivalent Sudbury committee to ours, um, he and I are may have coffee sometime in the next week or two. That hasn't been set uh, yet, and if anything interesting comes out of it, I'll report back to the back to the committee. I will surely advocate for starting from the north, but again, it's out of our control. I think they probably don't want to do it because people from Concord will be pushing yeah. the maintenance workers to, to go faster, right? Gotcha. But it's also staging. Yeah. The it's, staging is is not in Concord. There are no easements for staging. So uh, yeah. they are coming from a from point from where, where they are, where they are able to stage. Well, very logical. I mean, I like it, but it's very logical. Okay. Um, moving on to the rest of the agenda and the committee's business, I just would like to let everybody know that um, whoever created this agenda, and he happens to be sitting here in a black shirt, uh, usually starts with a prior month's agenda and then does a good job of cleaning off old items. Um, and unfortunately, in this case, I um, when I sent the initial agenda, I left a bunch of things in from last week, uh, from, from the last meeting. Um, so we, we, we did put up a revised agenda where I, I mark what's not going to be there. I'm just going to go through what's in the, in the original agenda as, as published and just say there really isn't anything here unless someone wants to bring up an issue. Um, so if everyone's okay with that, I apologize for the uh, poor editing job and we'll attempt to do a better job next time. Um, so the first item uh, was was listed as member terms and um, we discussed last week that uh, terms for majority of the committee will expire after this year's town meeting as as uh, as uh, member um, as committee members uh, term do expire on the, on the day the last day of the month of the town meeting um, uh, we know, or we, uh, as you may all know, uh, Deborah Adelman um, has moved to Sudbury. We will miss her, but she's no longer a member of this committee. So that drops us down to eight, um, eight of the nine required members. Um, Tracy, if it's okay, if I can mention it, mentioned that at some point um, in the next few months, yep, she will, the Tracy will be moving on somewhere. We're not sure where, but uh, we will miss you greatly. But right now you're still a member, so um, you will be in, uh, you know, the next one who's gone. Um, yep. you know, John Soden has indicated um, he will probably uh, end this year, and Dorcas, you, you have indicated that you, you would stay on if necessary, but you'd prefer to, um, to, to retire. Um, the rest of us, I think uh, that's uh, Sam and Richard, it's kind of a mix of uh, um, and myself and Adrian um, and Mary Beth. Um, I assume most, some or all of us will will want to uh, move on. But this, um, when when Adrian took up the task of looking for new members and going through the green uh, the green cards, um, it turned out we had a, a very hard time finding new members from the green cards, and to, to interview. Um, and we didn't have other names. And that led us to think about a, a, a different idea and direction for the committee. Uh, and this is, and, and uh, what I wanted to do today was kind of bring this idea up uh, purely for discussion purposes, not to, um, not to make any decisions this time, because in the end, the decision becomes that of the, of the select board in, the, in, in terms of what, what we do and how we focus. But the suggestion was made for us to consider 
maybe being folded in as a as a subcommittee or uh, some other arrangement folded into the transportation advisory committee. Um, so the suggestion came up and and your co-chairs thought it was interesting enough for us to at least have a discussion about what would it mean to um, to the charge that we have and, and the work that we're doing uh, to be folded in as part of an uh, as folded as part of another committee as opposed to a, a separate committee. Uh, there are pros to doing that, right? It simplifies the committee process. It means there, there, there are more members um, you know, to call on. Um, the, the rail trail, uh, the Bruce Freeman is, is part of a kind of a, a broader transportation uh, infrastructure in town. Um, and you know, one can imagine that having kind of a holistic view of, of all is, is good. The cons are, you know, do you lose the focus on the benefit of the trail? Um, will the residents be served by a committee with a broader focus or a subcommittee of a larger committee with a, with a broader focus? Um, but that's just a couple of a couple of thoughts. I'd like to open the floor up to committee members to kind of um, react and share their thinking. Um, as I said, no deliver, you know, no um, votes today. Terry Ackerman is here from the select board as our as our um, uh, as our liaison and can, can answer specific questions, but. What do people think about um, uh, this idea of maybe folding us into a broader committee? Uh, I have a question in terms of, uh, so people would be appointed to the transportation advisory committee or to, and then be on the subcommittee or didn't Karen, figure Do you have any thoughts or comments you wanna to make to answer Rich's question? I think the process is probably more you than, Terry, you're on mute. Is she there? Oh, yeah. sorry. I, I didn't realize you were calling on me. Um, yes. Um, well, I think we could do it one of several ways. I mean, we haven't discussed it at all as a board. So there's options there. And if this committee has a specific option that you'd like to recommend, um, such as all of the people um, from Bruce Freeman will be specifically appointed to that subcommittee of TAC, uh, we would certainly consider it. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. We haven't talked about it at all. So yeah. we want to our thoughts. That's a good caveat, Matt, just to, just to add one thing on to the introduction that you done, did, have done. So um, Nat and I have exchanged some emails with, with Terry as we are brainstorming this to see if it's even a, a viable option, but we didn't pursue it further with the Transportation Advisory Committee or the rest of the select board until we use the rest of this committee as a, as a sounding board. So questions like that, Richard, we can certainly note and um, determine how that would work, but we wanted to be mindful about how far we explored this option before we determined, um, without determining if this committee thought it was a was a good one. Yeah, my uh, first reaction in, in was that when I joined the committee, we thought there were the there were five people on the committee, and we discovered that there were nine. So one approach would be to just have the select board change the number of people on the committee. This is obviously a different approach altogether, but I mean that that also could be an option potentially. So, so Richard, just to, and I see other hands raised, Sam, um, but but the idea, you know, uh, the idea of, of moving our charge and our work under a bigger committee, pluses, minuses, what do you, what, what's your, what's your take? I think, I mean, I'm not clear what the transportation committees is, <laughs> what they're doing entirely, so I'm not, it's a little hard to judge. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Sam, you have your hand up next. Yeah, I, I just wanted to add a two initial reactions when you talked about uh, that potential evolution. One is whether the, the completion of the trail, um, you know, the bridge over Route 2, that might sort of uh, lead to a new chapter in, in the rail trail as advisory committee as the, as the trail is now uh, fully rolled out through Concord. Um, the other Initial reaction, uh, Nat, you've talked about uh, the reformatory branch as another rail trail in the town. And so one other um, direction you might take it is to broaden the scope of all rail trails in town 
uh, including uh, the, the Bruce Freeman. Um, so those are two initial uh, quick reactions. Just to, to cover myself, because there's been a lot of heat generated over the last three years by that topic, RTRJ is only the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail, and I have no dog in the reformatory branch hunt uh, at this point. But uh, I, I thank you for the for the suggestion. Uh, sure. um, I, I will take your suggestion as there are other assets in town that a more holistic view of transportation. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but but here's how yes. I. That what I hear yep. you saying is a more holistic view of um, these kinds of assets in town, whether it be uh, paved or unpaved or you know rough or smooth or whatever, um, having a, a group that's thinking broadly as opposed to one that's focused on a narrow niche um, is what I heard you say is, is a suggestion. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, and if anybody... Uh, takes us any farther than I'm advocating that the reformatory branch trail be part of what we do. I am not, and I, I will be happy to tell anybody that. Um, uh, Sam, was that all? That's it. Okay. Yeah. Then, um, I'm going to continue with committee members. Barbara, I see your hand up, so uh, please be patient. Uh, Tracy, your thoughts? Sure. Um, so I have two thoughts. One is that Initially, I'm thinking it's not a bad idea to lump it under a bigger committee, but I do wonder what the implications would be of being under the transportation committee, thinking that the rail trail um, can be certainly used for transportation, but it's also used for recreation. And I just wonder if having the mindset of transportation would hurt in some way, which I can't think of right now, but anyway, it's something to think about. And um, secondly, subcommittees, um, if we were to take everyone in the Bruce Freeman and put them in a subcommittee, we could end up with the same kind of struggle with a quorum, because I know with the subcommittee, you still need a quorum. And so if we have a five-person subcommittee, we could have the same issue where mm. you're still struggling to get, or maybe it would be easier, I'm not sure. But um, so maybe it's something to think about there where you only have a three-person subcommittee, and therefore it's easier to get or yeah. not exactly sure how you saw that, just something to think about. I, I will say in, in the conversations Adrian and, and uh, Terry and I had um, about the topic, the select board has complete control over the charge and, and what get what gets put together. Um, maybe there's some updating of the of the tax charge. If, if this did seem like something we wanted to do, update that and incorporate you know, what's important. I think, Sam, your, your point about the... Um, you know, we pretty much completed the trail and most of the charge for the original charge and the current charge for the Bruce Freeman is about design and, you know, ensuring that all the right things were in place and so on and so forth. And very little about maintenance and upkeep and other things. So it's an opportunity. I'm not advocating one way or the other, I, 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 but the, the process of uh, adjusting the, the actual charge from the select board would be the select boards. And we'd obviously have some input um, but I don't want to get in front of our skis or ahead of our headlights, whatever the right metaphor is um, uh, on the topic. Uh, Tracy, thank you. Uh, Richard, you have a, sec a second comment? Um, have you spoken to the, anybody on the Transportation Advisory Committee about this? Okay. No, not at all. We, 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 we felt it was important to keep it in-house because you know everyone could have just thrown up on this idea and said, you know, forget it. But, um, we didn't think it was appropriate to have that conversation yet. Okay. Um, Adrian, you haven't spoken yet on this topic. Any thoughts or comments or reflections? You're muted, Adrian. Thank you. One thing to, um, that I just wanted to comment on, and I meant to have it ready to kind of like broadcast for everyone to see, and maybe Nat, after the meeting, we can send it out to, to committee members or everyone can see it on the town website is when I actually looked at the Transportation Advisory Committee's charge, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be largely focused on roads and sidewalks and you know congestion points in town, um, but it really does talk about like the interconnectedness of neighborhoods and how do you improve kind of safe outdoor um, like exploration for like children and for seniors and um, how do you improve like access to schools in, a, in maybe an, an unconventional way that I know we've all, we've all spoken about. 
Um, so at face value, I didn't think transportation advisory made sense because to your point, Tracy, like the Bruce Freeman is much more than getting you from point A to point B. But when I really looked at their existing charge, it seemed to fit a lot more than I than I thought at face at face value. Okay, Just wanted right. to put that out there. Thank you, Adrian. Dorcas, any? No, uh, the other alternative would be recreation. Right. Or PRA. Or got it. Okay. Um, come on. Uh, any public input on this, Barbara? Thank you for your patience. Uh, Please announce yourself and address, although we all know who you are. Barbara Pike, 118 Border Road. I'd like to echo what Tracy was saying that the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail is at least as much for recreation as yeah. it is for transportation. I was wondering if you had considered joining forces with the Trails Committee. I hadn't this was this was the start of a conversation, so. Um, mm -hmm. It's certainly a, a, a piece of input uh, for us to, to think about. Thank you, Barbara. Um, so thank you all for, for sharing your thinking. Um, I think our next step is to, Terry, what do you think? Do you think we should, um, uh, hold on, before I go there, I think, uh, it seems like we're open to the idea, depending on a whole bunch of things, right? So it's it's it may be worth um, the select board providing some guidance to us about their thinking on this and and what you might want us to do. So I didn't hear from anybody. No, absolutely not. And I didn't hear yes. This is the greatest idea since sliced bread. Um, to use an overused uh, phrase. Um, but Terry, what, what what would the select board like to do with this sense of the of the committee, if anything? Right. Um, it sounds like there's kind of mediocre support or mixed support. Um, I think we are also having the same conversation at an upcoming transportation advisory committee meeting to see what they think, and. We're, you know, we're not ready to go to the select board at all. I think if this committee was really hopping to do that, okay, but it doesn't sound like it. Um, I think there were several other good ideas I heard here, such as Recreation Commission, that's a possibility. Um, although they have a different mission, really. They, um, so that's hard. Um, Trails Committee, I think, would be difficult because they are a subcommittee of the NRC, the Natural Resources Commission. So that doesn't really fit. Um, and maybe the best suggestion is even what Richard said, go back to the five members. I never understood why it was nine members. And no wonder you're having quorum problems. Um, so. But not anymore. Not since we've got this great new membership here. We've been doing great. Right, but now we need new members again. I think it's not time to go to the select board yet. Let's see what develops with the TAC, what they say, and let's have you guys think about it some more. Okay. It just doesn't sound ready to go anywhere yet. Okay, and, and, and there wasn't the and I, I see that Marsha has her hand up, so she might yeah. have ideas. Marsha, go for it. Well. I just, um, I am retiring at the end of May. Phase 2B is completed at the end of May. And the only piece that's left for construction is the last half mile that is adjacent to White Pond. So um, I think it, it that this committee might want to re-examine the charge to see what work they might be doing in the next phase. If, if once everything's completed, what what tasks do you see? We were talking about some safety issues at Junction Park. You're looking at how do we address e-bikes? There is the need for the uniformity committee with the signage and the and the regulations. Uh, so that there there needs to be an ongoing forum for discussion. Yes. Um, and and what is the best? Uh, I think revising the charge, maybe re-examining the membership. The membership was created as broadly as it was to represent a broad perspective on the design elements of the trail. 
and to make sure that there was that people were being heard. Yeah. Um, th there were a lot of it was a very contentious discussion in the early days, and so that they really needed that broad support with a large membership. I don't think that's the case any longer, yeah. and so reducing the number of members might be appropriate. So those are the things I would put forward to you. Yeah. Um, and knowing that there would be need to be a transition in your staff liaison um, work. Uh, you can't leave before May, though. I'm not leaving before okay. May. <laughs> okay. So I think what I what I heard you say is um, let's get clear on what this committee should be working on going forward. Given that we've completed ninety percent of the ninety five percent of the work to get the trail implemented in Concord. So if we think about it from what's our charge going forward, then we might say, okay, given this charge. Where do we fit in the town infrastructure? Um, any does that, does that sound right to people? Or to members? Okay, I see, I see nodding heads. Okay. Makes uh, sense to me. Excuse me? It was Tracy. She said it makes sense. Oh, to me. okay. Thank you. I didn't see your head nodding. Thank you, Tracy. Um, and Barbara, is your hand still up as a legacy or is it a new hand? No, it's a new hand. Okay, please go ahead. Um, maybe when the town is rethinking the charge of the Bruce Room and Rail Trail Advisory Committee, they might look more in the direction of what's very common in cities and towns, which is um, bicycle, it's BPAC, Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee, which would encompass what the, this committee is doing um, and and broaden the scope. Yeah. Okay. So good good thoughts. Um, I I think what the co chairs will do is to take this conversation. Maybe we'll have a, a, a conversation with Terry, and at our next meeting, um, this will be an item on the agenda just to update the committee on what our thinking is. In the interim, um, please feel free to send an email if you have other ideas or other thoughts or, or comments. Uh, to Adrian and myself, um, uh, and we will make sure we incorporate any of those comments in there. I really appreciate the the thinking of the committee on this on this topic. Um, and Terry, thanks for your input on on this. Okay, um, our next item on the agenda uh, is listed as the Junction Park update, and actually um, that was a legacy from last month. Um, Marcia made her update on Junction Park and that uh, the members have any other questions or comments on what Marcia said. Uh, we have no other new business regarding that other than we're waiting for, for uh, what Marcia talked about. Any other questions or comments from the, the members? Any questions or comments uh, from members of the public who are here probably because the Junction Park update was listed there? and inappropriately unedited by me. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the, oh, Dora, did you raise your hand? No, I think that's the, the, the pointer. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> Dora, you're, you're, you're covered by a pointer, Dora. Okay, um, the next item was the Bruce Freeman Railroad updated map. That again was a, um, was a legacy item. I have no new news on that at, the, at this point. Um, I will probably have news uh, at the next meeting. Um, with the next item on the agenda um, is a safety subcommittee staffing. Um, right now, the committee, the safety subcommittee is uh, down one. Uh, Dorcas, uh, Mary Beth um, are the two remaining members. Is there another member here who would be willing to join the safety subcommittee? Because we do need to continue some work there. I don't think it really makes any sense for me to join, given I'm not going to be yeah. here too long. Right, I understand. Um, oh, um, let's see. I can ask for volunteers, I suppose. Um, um, may I suggest that you might want to delay that to when Mary Beth and uh, you have Dorcas here. Right, I do. Uh, Mary there. Beth, thank you, Marcia. Oh, yeah, That's a great Beth. idea. Okay, so we'll table the. Subcommittee staffing. Well, just 
the conversation had been wrapping up, as I recall. Uh, I think that there were maybe one or two more meetings that were necessary. Um, forgive me if I'm if I'm wrong, if I'm mis misstating things, Dorcas, but I think you were reaching the end of when and when you were going to be taking it back to the full committee. So um, maybe you and Mary Beth could have a conversation and, um, and make a recommendation to the at the next meeting on that. Great. What do you think, Dorcas? Well, talk to Mary Beth. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Marcia. Um, the next item on the uh, first agenda listed, the unrevised one had member. Uh, there was nothing there. Um, the next item is artwork. Um, and I think Mike is here. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, this next is, is um, we're going to have a presentation or discussion from uh, Art for All Concord, Margot Kimball. Um, I think you're the ED or uh -huh. you're, you're kind of driving it. I've been an act, I just took this off your site. Been an active <laughs> member of the Concord Art Community for over 30 years. Um, Mike is a talented painter, carpenter, and gardener, and leader of the Boy Scouts. Uh, both of them are here to discuss the proposal they have for installing a mural on the outside wall of 40 Beharrell Street, right mm -hmm. by the bike rental kiosk. Um, it's officially off of the right of way of the trail. Mm -hmm. But we appreciate you sharing your ideas and seeking input from us. Mm -hmm. um, and it's part of a, a project that is being sponsored in part by the West Concord Junction Cultural District. Okay. Yes. So that's uh, providing some of the funding, and and then I think there's going to be some fundraising as well. Yes. Margaret, exactly. Mike, the floor is yours. Thank you. uh, so we have that, and can you bring it up? Uh, or no, you want to introduce it first. Um, did you send something? Before to we send something to you? I you did. did. Um, it was really late. Okay. Uh, well, I'm sorry. sorry about that. We didn't send it earlier. So, your who Marshall's would it be from? Has it? It will be from him. Mike Sprague. Mike Sprague. M H Sprague. Okay. So th this is a. Um, well, I'll, I'll give you a little intro. Want to take it a little closer to the microphone? Sure. Um, I think I see my name. You want to check that mic? My, the last okay. thing I had from you is back in November. So um, this uh, this mural, I, I actually proposed this mural, and I wonder if anybody out there remembers, I think Barbara will, um, that uh, I proposed back in 2019 to do a map of the Bruce Roman Rail Trail to go on the, um, to go on the bike path. And we're back. We're back with a more complete design, as well as already having some of the funding. Um, and it's it's a map that goes from Framingham to Lowell, all the way to Lowell. It's going to be eight feet high and 24 feet long. And it'll be attached on with boards to uh, 40 Beharrell Street, which is right where the um, the bike rental area is. It's that low. Um, the white industrial building facing the trail uh, near Neshoba Brook. Near Neshoba Brook. Um, yeah, that's that's the general um, concept, and the uh, the body of the mural is um, designed by Mike, and that will be painted by probably uh, six artists, and then the border of the mural will be um, a series of paintings that the public can paint. So Art for All is gonna have a series of workshops uh, where people can come and they can paint these small paintings. And all of the paintings will go into an exhibit at Fowler Library in May. And about 40 of the paintings will be selected and become part of the border of the mural. So that's that's our way of uh, you know, including the community, which is what we like to do at well, Art for All. What was the germ of the idea to do a, 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 a do the whole rail track? Kind of, where did that come from? What was your artistic? What was well? Use? I was sort of um, well. Obviously, I was inspired by the Bruce Roman Rail Trail to begin with, That's and having to be <laughs> the fact that well, you know that people are sure. coming into West Concord, and uh, West Concord is a cultural district, and so we really want to capture the attention of people who are coming through on the rail trail and um, 
and you know make them slow down and think about West Concord. So the the map includes will include a uh, what do you call it? You know, a, an enlarged area of the the cultural district will you know a map of the cultural district will be on there, as well as um, images from all the towns along the rail. So I I was you know part of the, what initially inspired me was actually just finding out that. West Concord is exactly in the middle of the trail, which I think, I mean, and we're we're gonna assume that it's gonna go through Sudbury and into framing right. and eventually. So we're painting it with the the assumption that you know it's done because this is a mural that'll be up for a long, long time. Now that building will probably not last all that long, but the murals being made are these panels that can be taken off and we will presumably find another right. appropriate spot. Along the trail. Did you get the the thing from? I haven't received it yet. I'm no. sorry. No. Uh, I mean, we. I know. You know, we job. have it. We have it here. We could hold it up, but that won't show up as well. So what what we brought here is Mike's sketch of of it. And I I apologize. Okay. You asked me for this a couple of weeks ago. It's okay. Right? Right. It's okay. I screwed yeah. up the the whole agenda. So. <laughs> Um, does anybody have questions? Members, we could uh about it. You can make one up. Come on, when's the installation date again? What's that? What's the projected installation date? Um, May twentieth. Our the plan is to present it to the public on May twentieth, which is. Um, spring into West Concord, like that's the the date in West Concord to have a festival. So that's what it's we're. It's also close to the date when they will actually be done with the that section of the trailer. Right? I know. I'm really disappointed that it's a little earlier, but it seems like the actual the actual uh, like right. official opening of the trail is going to happen sort of somewhere in the middle of the summer. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, probably June. So that's not as exciting uh, to uh, get people around for. Um, so the, and then the painting workshops, by the way, and I hope all of you will consider coming to the painting workshop. Um, those are, th those will be paintings of images from the trail. So the idea being that you'll see all these images of things that you might be able to see, and maybe you'll even look look for these, you know, birds, animals, plants, insects, maybe some scenery. And um, we're trying to use only, so at the workshops, we have images that people work from to make the paintings. And the goal is to only have images from people who, you know, around like photographers. Uh, Terry Ackerman, you may have some photographs for us. If you've got some nice photos of, you know, local natural beauties, it's called Natural Beauties is the name of the workshop. Um, then send them to us and we might like take, uh, print them out and those will become the things that people are making the paintings from. Okay. Other members have questions? Adrian, did you have one? Mine was the same question as Richard, just around timing. So thank okay. you. All right. um, I don't think we have uh, any, um, we don't have any authority over a 40 to Harold Street, um, but it sounds like a really nice, um, you know, a nice idea to, okay. to make the passage to the trail. I don't think you need a vote from us or anything. We don't, no, we, we don't need a vote. Like that, yeah, that building, um, the owner is, uh, we've gotten permission from the owner to use that building. Um, I mean, I, I would love for you all to see this image, though, because we really are open well, at this when point. It gets here, <laughs> when it gets here, we will post it on the website. <laughs> we can post it right up there and, and send an announcement um, so people can look at it. Yeah, because yeah, right now, and, you know, there is, I mean, it's only only for the next, like, few weeks, because at some point we have to decide, okay, this is it, and then we start, you know, we got to start painting. Well, but in the next few weeks, people can give us feedback about, to say, oh, you should really have, you know, this or that, you know, thing. I guess, I guess what I would expect from this, um, from the committee, is things along the trail, anywhere between Lowell and Framingham, uh, sites that you would want people to know about that mm -hmm. might be interesting for them like to the look at. Factory, for example. 
Yeah, well, that's the fact that is that is odd. It, it is. Yeah, there's a little bit. Yeah, okay. you go. There See, we go. Look, we've already had this out. Um, and another suggestion yeah. is that you should go out to uh, pedal power, bike, and ski with Barbara and the rest of um, the friends of the Bruce Freeman meet, Ooh. and you should bring a copy if you haven't already done. Yeah, so. Well, actually, um, I'm waiting to hear from the friends one day, right, Barbara? Um, we we do want to do the presentation to the the friends yep. for sure. Because they they soon yeah. I hope really soon so that we can get your feedback about the and design. you have Barbara's address email I do. address okay yeah, yeah good yeah, okay I do. Barbara you have your hand up now that you, you um uh, right we had a board meeting scheduled that was canceled and we're in the process of scheduling another one for the first part of February and Margo okay. you I sent you the grant application form. Oh, yes, you did. Good. Thank you for okay. reminding me. And it would be great to have that to distribute yeah. to the Friends board members what before mean? that meeting. Yes. Okay. okay. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. And then uh, when you do it. send it, you, uh, you got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Technology works. I, I, don't, I don't know if I can full screen. I can move it, yes. Um, so that, ah, you can move it, but you can't make it any smaller. Oh, okay. Right. I think this would be best to put on the um, put on the website. Put it on the website. And, and if you yeah. would, if there are two or three questions you want to ask, so everybody who looks at it, your, your, your email address, but yeah. um, what colors or what sites are missing from here or something, but you can give us two or three, okay. like, Right. Questions to get anybody thinking about it. Um, yeah. We'll have it up there, and okay. at our next meeting, we can. Yeah. Um, if there's anything yeah. else to add, we'll, we'll okay. do that. But well, you, you can see right here that Mike has added uh, three three people. Mike, you well, Mike, you Where's Barbara Pike's picture on here? Barbara, <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to be up here, aren't you? And and Marcia too. Well, th <laughs> see, that's exactly what we need right. to know. Right. So I took from, from the uh, from the. Friends of the Rail Trail, the history of who is Bruce Freeman, because I think that's an important it is. Yeah. Uh, information to have on this mural. I think it's a good way of sort of uh, acknowledging you know, who, yeah. we, who we named the, the rail trail after. So those three, um, Bruce Freeman, Carol Clevin, oh, there you go. Now who, you can see um, took, uh, took the ball after um, well, Mr. Freeman passed away, and then Governor okay. Dukakis, who signed the legislature. Right. Yeah. That's Carlisle. Is it, oh, it is Westford. Okay, good. I think Concord should be a slightly larger font. <laughs> so that's what. So um, Chelmsford is going to shrink. Um, Chelmsford was the first one that I did, and I've sort of been moving yeah. from uh, right to left. So uh, yeah, they'll, yeah, it'll be recent. See, I was questioning whether we had Concord at all, but only have West Concord. But that's okay. I was over. Well, there is an inset for the uh, the cultural uh, West Concord Cultural District. Yeah. yeah. Um, Here. Well, I think if you have West Concord, then you have to have East Concord, right? If you're not the, yeah. if not the current, uh, never mind. I think it's really great. So, it's all okay. Concord. Any other? Um, so we will post this. You will send questions to Marcia. Is it okay? It's okay for me to post on our website. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, um, if any, you know, if we get any feedback, we'll we'll pass it on to you. But thank you so much for okay. doing this. That's Sorry. a great idea. Okay. Um, I'm very excited. Awesome. Thank right. you. Cool. Um, okay. Community members, um, we can like, go back to the full gallery. All right. I'll, I'll <laughs> um, the other two items on the list were phase 2B scheduling, which is a legacy from the last meeting, which is not, there's nothing to cover here unless anybody has any questions. And, and, and Marcia, you already covered it. And then the Mass Trails grant program, uh, which is from last time. And um, the the co chairs were going to look into that. It feels like there's too much happening right now, for, and the and the and the grant is pretty um, detailed. Um, I think the, the you know one of the things we were looking for was maybe doing a feasibility study for the Cocker Middle School connection to the Bruce Freeman. Um, I think we'd like to let this sit for um, another year, and we're going to apply um, next year, just given timing. Any comments or questions? All right, the last item um, uh, on the agenda for, the, for members is our next meeting date uh, has been pointed out to me by people who have children in school is school vacation week. 
Um, and the question is for the committee is do we move our meeting up a week? Um, I don't even know if the room is available, or do we push to the March meeting um, and cover and, and basically say we're, we're going to give up on uh, on school vacation week? Um, I don't know, Sam. Do you have kids in school? I'm away. Oh, you're away school vacation week. Okay. Well, that I think solves our problem, or at least uh, limits our our options. Hello. Hi. Are you here for the first three minutes? Yes. We're almost done. Public comments coming up in a second. Thank you so much. Um, uh, what a member, what's the sense of members in terms of our next meeting? Matt, remind me when it's scheduled for. I'm sorry, February 23rd. Is that right, Adrian? Yeah, that's correct. February 23rd. I see I've written down here, yes. So that's when it's scheduled. And then the meeting after that would be March. March 30th. March 30th. Would and be March, March is a long month. It has lots of Thursdays. So it's yeah, quite a bit out. Yeah, it's the last Thursday. We could op option for the 23rd, I would guess, right? If we wanted to. I, I think even if even if we moved our February meeting to the first Thursday in March, one, two, three, that's still four weeks in between our next meeting. I don't think we would need to move our March meeting. Okay. So are you proposing we do uh, March? Um, I, guess, I guess it's, do we wanna have a meeting two and a half weeks from now? Like, will we be ready to talk maybe more about the future charge of the Bruce Freeman um, committee by then? Um, you know, will Richard have had a chance maybe to reach out to DPW? Like, is there enough for us to, to reconvene in two and a half weeks or should we make it? Well, I'll be traveling that week anyway, but I'm not, we do have co chair, so you could run mm -hmm. session one on the 16th. And I you're, will be, I will be away that week also. He's away the 16th. Okay. <laughs> so moving it to March 2nd would still give us four weeks between the March meetings, but is that, um, do members want to be there March 2nd? Okay. I seem to be free now. Yeah, uh, I can be second. And I won't be here because I got to be at Disney World. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but that could be a chance for the coach here to run the meeting. Hmm. I'm suddenly busy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, look, our workload right now, there isn't a lot at this point. Um, I would propose we do a, the March 30th meeting. And if something comes up that requires our work, that we, um, that we can, you know, call a meeting, um, on that, but are people comfortable? Okay, I got one. That sounds good, Tracy. Are you... so that proposal is to wait until so cancel the February meeting and just wait yeah. till March thirtieth. Yeah. Oh, exactly. got it. Oh, everyone okay. Okay. okay, everyone's happy with that. So the next meeting will be March thirtieth. Um, the okay. last section of this is public comment. I'm oh, sorry. Did someone else have a comment? Okay, public comment. We have someone in the room here. Uh, can you introduce yourself? My name is Assistant 534 of Memorial Road. I serve on the West Concord Advisory Committee. And with the West Concord Advisory Committee, we did work with the West Concord Cultural Junction to get four cultural junction, West Concord Junction cultural district signs up. And um, speaking with Public Works, um, they said we should also put two little signs and the, um, and the posts for the signs are already existing. Um, to show people who aren't driving into the town that they're in a cultural district. So this would be north and south. Of, yes, okay. exactly. And so we just, and Marsha recommended that I come and get your approval. Um, the the, uh, the, the um, public works guy. Um, Karen McCosco. Yes, that's it. <laughs> He's the one who is wonderful. He's so good about science. He said he already knows where they should go. I can come back and tell you. We just need your approval. And um, other towns like, you know, Natick, Northampton, they all have them up. Can you describe really, what it says on the sign? Yeah, the sign says uh, West Concord Junction Cultural District. There are four that just went up two months ago. Okay. Um, one at the Aslet River Bridge. One as you come up Route 2, as you come up Route 2. Um, and um, so what I can do is I can forward it to you. What it looks like, we already have the PDF from the... Um, from the um, Cultural Commission. And the, I'm blanking on the name of the, 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 the actual exact name. We already have the PDF for it. We'll have to have them made. Billy Crosby told me they thought cost maybe $200 to make or maybe less. 
but the town can install them for basically nothing. Okay, so we have some money, so someone else has to pay for that. Well, someone will have to pay for it, but I think there's a lot of interest in biking now, and and you know, with the- We believe that's true. Yeah, I think, and, and, and with the bridge over Route 2, we want people to know they're in a cool place. It has a definition, and it has a name, and um, Alan McCuff was saying, the um, the guy at public work is saying, yeah, we definitely should put them on the rail trail too. So it's not just drivers who know about it, but people coming in on the rail trail, more and more people taking it. So yeah, I'll open the floor to questions from members first on um, um, putting up two signs to indicate the cultural district. Any questions from members on that? I saw. I think I saw the sign on Commonwealth Avenue. Yeah. So it would be the same sign. No, it would be a smaller one. So they do very small ones as well. So this would be smaller. There would only be one post, and the post he said will already expand. They're already up, and he would just he knows how to do it. And it would be a small one, maybe do it eighteen by twelve inches. It'd be a smaller version. The PDF already exists. We have the PDF. It's paid for and done, and it just says West Concord Junction Cultural District. And where would it go? And so um, I can ask him. It would be like I think as you approach it from the north north and approach it from the south right and uh, so that you know i think it'd be really cool so people really gives the identity yeah. and so we could we could um i could i could get the public works to give me a map showing where the two would go okay does that, that answer your question i guess i would like to know exactly where they go well i, I think one would go just uh, after where the prison is okay, and, and so then one would go just i think just before you get to the culture district where the in front of where the old 99 would was okay it's so near, near, near the kiosk there yeah right okay. exactly i think that would go there but i would have to confirm with him yeah but he would argue it's... that it wouldn't cost anything because the posts are already in place it would just cost to make and we already have a pdf of what we have to it would just maybe cost 200 dollars a sign okay. but i think we could raise that money well, you, yeah, you have to. We have to raise, yeah. and I think we could maybe get a discounted rate. Marcia, um, do you have any knowledge of, of this with the location? No, I don't. Okay. Um, I, I guess I just worry about, I don't want to clutter up the trail. Right. Well, now we're talking about a big mural and little signs and stuff like that. I want to keep so the mural is totally off the trail, but I get, right, I get what you said. It's very visible. It is very visible on the trail. And right. I don't want to make the trail less Okay. Okay. So I'm, not, so, I'm not objecting to it. I just want to know. Yeah, well, I, I can send I have I, so yeah, I have a PDF. It's very small, it's a very small sign, but it just does help identify where yeah. you are. <laughs> okay. And um, that's important. We're going into our seventh year being a cultural district. A lot of people don't know where it is. <laughs> I didn't even know, I know where it is. Oh, so yeah. other yeah. member questions or comments? Uh Adrian. Yeah, I'm curious if, um are are those the same signposts where we're proposing to um update like the common rules that I know have been discussed like with friends. I just I, I thought I, I heard her say that. No. I don't think we know that yet. So I okay. think I just heard her say existing signposts. So I didn't know yeah, if those were the same ones that were I heard about or something else. So um I think what we need um you know to, to, to be clear would be a copy of the sign and where the locations are. I think that's perfect. I'll get that from public work. Okay, that'll be and, great. And that'd be great. So it'd be great if we could get it up this year. Well, we, I, we can definitely talk about it in the next meeting. Yeah, and that'd, that'd be perfect. And okay. that's awesome. I, and that's what I'll tell. I will contact public works. That's awesome. Okay, and they can they should work through Marsha. Um, well, we keep details. giving you emails, Marsha, or, or is that too okay. much? <laughs> no, it's it's valuable to do. Okay, okay. that's okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't want to clutter your inbox. <laughs> it's too late for that, but it's good for Marcia to know what's going on. We'll, we'll get it done. I'm excited. I'll report this to the um, February 1st West Concord Advisory Committee. Okay, and then what we will do is uh, on our next meeting on March 30th, is we'll take up this issue once if we have all the details. We'll that take up awesome. and, and, and deliberate on it. And deliberate and then give you a vote. That'd be, that'd be awesome. And then we'll figure out also, also figure out about financing. I think we could maybe get a and then You're making a recommendation to the town manager because you do not have authority to actually do anything but you but the town yeah, manager exactly. looks for we your recommendation yeah that you know we have no authority or money but we make recommendations so we have to make recommendations and they generally listen to us yes so right okay um sorry to make you go over time guys that's okay <laughs> thank, thank you for being here we'll see you on the 30th of march all right awesome thank you marshall okay uh, barbara did you have a question sorry are, are we moving on to citizen comments uh, this was the first, uh, uh, and was the first one of citizen comments. So yeah. we are moving on. Go ahead, Barbara. Um, I would like to 
piggyback a bit on what Dorcas said about making the trail greener and more attractive. And I'm thinking of the prison area. Um, of course, somebody sort of facetiously said, well, we should just put a mural on the prison wall. I don't think that's gonna fly. But there is an, an, a, a sort of an impromptu pollinator garden out there now that is maintained by an individual. And it looks like there's some milkweed plants that were planted. And um, I was just wondering if there could be some sort of collaboration to get um, a pollinator garden or uh, just wild flowers along between the prison and the trail. It's 60 feet wide. So I think the town controls quite a bit of that. And, um, you know, I'm the bench lady. I think it would be great to have a bench between um, Neshoba Brook and Commonwealth. And so maybe that could sort of, you know, a little you know, pollinator garden with a bench. Um, just something to kind of, I mean, that's, that's compared with the rest of the trail, that's drab. So I just don't know what the options are or, or you know, permissions needed or general thoughts on just making that a little more welcoming and attractive. Well, Barbara, thank you for the for, for the input. Uh, Trace, uh, sorry, Trace, Terry, you have your hand up. Is it in response to this? No, it's a different different. Oh, okay, topic. okay. Um, so, um, I appreciate the uh, the input, Barbara. I, I think you know if there's something that has to be, you know, if there's an idea, it should be brought up as an idea, and then we can we can deliberate on it. But I, I just think. Um, uh, you know, with, with regard to pollinator gardens or benches or whatever, I, I think we need, you know, there would have to be something specific uh, proposed and then um, and then we could take it out. Richard, what were you, what did you want to say about that? Just something the green thumbs would be interested in. Standing there. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think, again, we have limited authority and accountability with regard to gardening or anything along the edge of the path. Um, so if someone has an idea, let's let's talk about it. Um, with regard to the, to the bench, Barbara, you and I did have an exchange on that. I, I think we also have that whole, um, the, that whole area uh, with, with the, the restrooms and the, what is it called? Um, the park. Uh, next to the bridge, Jero Park. 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 Yeah, which which recreationary. Yeah. But the other factor is MCI Concord, right? And they do not want people loitering in that area. So um, anything that we propose will need to go through MCI right. Uh, right. and the superintendent. Well, I mean, maybe there's a, a overlap with um, the memorial that the MCI is supporting for the for the cemetery. I mean, but that would be I, that's not the area that I think Bar uh, Barbara's talking about. Right. I'm talking out by the gray wall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I um I think reaching out, Barbara, to the to the MCI might be the starting point. Okay. Well, could I recommend that the committee reach out to the MCI then and see what their feelings would be about placing a bench? And I do think that we need to separate the bench from the bench donation. So a bench doesn't have to be supplied by as a memorial bench. It can be paid for other ways. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what we I'm not sure what we decided to and and they were not at all. Yeah, but they, I don't see any reason for it to be there. Yeah. They wanted gates up and right. then they got their gates. I, I really don't think they're going to want they've got that beautiful Rural Park if they ever finish it. Right, right across the street with <laughs> Yeah. I agree. I think I like people to whiz past the prison. Whiz past the prison and go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Yeah. But, well, I think you need to consider that there are a lot of people that can't get the half mile or three quarters of a mile from the benches at Assabet River to the benches at Jerome Park. And I think it would make a much more welcoming trail if we could have the, you know, there. are I think there are places on the trail further north that are overbenched. 
but I think there's such a thing as being underbenched and unwelcoming. And I think we need to wait and see what's developed on the Concord Housing Development Corporation land, which is designated for housing and open space. And there, there may be uh, a, an opportunity to place some benches, but anywhere near the prison is, I, I don't think is part of the conversation. Sure. Um, they are already, they were at, uh, against having the trail go by to begin with. I, I just can't see them encouraging any kind of loitering. They have some serious concerns about um, about what we're doing as it is um, and problem. adding anything further, I think yeah. is the wrong direction. Um, and, and in that stretch. In that yeah. stretch. In that yeah. stretch, yeah, definitely. Definitely. So Barbara, thanks for thanks for the input on on that. Let's let's keep the conversation going. Um, we're not going to talk to the, the MCI folks about anything to do uh, near the walls. Um, so, but if the friends want to have that conversation, they should. That's that's I think where we where we where we would leave it. Uh, Terry, you're oh, muted. Yeah. Can you? And that's Sorry, just, uh, yeah, Sorry. I, I think Adrian had her hand up also, maybe about the previous topic. Oh. Right before I get into the new topic. You're, you're good. Adrian, did I miss you? Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks, Terry. No, I was just going to say this. Um, the pollinator garden topic sounded familiar. So I just checked our minutes from last meeting, and I think it was briefly discussed then. And the committee suggested, or maybe Marcia had suggested, to defer until we're closer to the next CPC cycle, that it could be something that maybe goes under um, like a request there um, to, to um, Dory's point of like seeing I'm sorry, to Dorcas's point of seeing what happens with Jura Park, what the status is, and maybe what's needed for some TLC on that on that portion of the trail. So I just wanted to say that that note had been had been captured last time. Thank you, Adrian. Ms. Ackerman. Okay, so this has to do with uh, one of the topics way in the beginning of the meeting about um, the possible subcommittee of the Transportation Committee. And right at the end of that conversation, Barbara made a very interesting comment um, that makes a lot of sense to me, that eventually, I think maybe after the construction is completely finished all the way to Sudbury, uh, this Bruce Freeman can evolve into like a what she called a BPAC, Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee. That, is the way I'm thinking of the subcommittee, if it existed for the transportation committee, because it really fits in with what they're trying to do, which is to have, you know, shared streets and not just be a committee for cars, but certainly for bicycles and pedestrians and wheelchairs and everybody. So it was a good suggestion by Barbara. I think we should think that through. Okay. I thought it was a good suggestion also. Okay, uh, Richard. I think follow up on that. I think at one point the transportation committee, advisory committee did have, was Air Relief was trying to have a bike subcommittee of that. And when, when people had come to the town years ago about a bike committee, the uh, expectation was that there would be a bike subcommittee of the transportation committee. So this could be a good time to revisit that. Correct. Uh, okay. Yeah, and, and I know that Arlington and Bedford and others have this bike ped um, approach, so we could definitely learn from that. As, as usual, Barbara comes up with brilliant ideas. So thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Terry, for bringing us back to that. Any other um, member comments or public comments? I would like to entertain a motion. To um, motion, motion to adjourn. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Um, a motion to adjourn, uh, Ms. Ms. Um, Boardman. Aye. Thank you, Mr. Bollinger. Aye. Ms. Hanson. Aye. Ms. Miller. Aye. Mr. Stearns. Aye. Mr. Welch is aye, and this meeting is adjourned as of 8.16 p.m.
Our next meeting will be March 30th. Thank you all for your time and efforts and have a, a great weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.